Hello in this video, we will be focusing on the Foxy Anime Tornik, this will be the final part for the basic setup, anyway, here is what we will do today, set up a Foxy stage, with curtains that update when we don't look. Then he runs towards the player and jump scares, if he fails then he knocks on door and teleport back. Anyway, create a folder and then we need an actor for Foxy's curtains. Place in map and then open it. We can add two cubes, to act as the left and right, you can copy the transforms that I had, now in the event graph, we need a custom event to update these curtains. We will need to give it an input by pressing this add button and give it an integer called stage. Now we can get our cubes, first I will deal with the right one. Set relative location and then from the right, we can do a get relative location. We just need to change one value which is the X. You can give default values to the Z which was 108, so for X, you want to do a float and float. We first want to turn the stage input from integer to float. We can use the stage value multiply it by a float which acts as a distance it moves each stage, which will change values after testing. This will then go into the B of the add. We then want to do a similar thing with the left side except one change. First copy the locations and then from X, you want to subtract float. Then you can still connect that multiplication to the B. For now, on event begin play, we can just test to see the curtains update. We need to add a delay and then call the update stage. We can then input 1, then duplicate and do the same for stage 2 and 3. Now test the game, and go to your foxy area camera to check it. I will also mess around with the distance apart multiplication node to fit well. After a few tests, 20 was a fine value. Now delete the test code or just place it somewhere else. We can now make a child master animatronic so we can just put any extra code in there. Right click on master animatronic and click create child. We can now replace our old foxy and put this one in the pirate's cove. Delete the old one. Now for the code, open foxy and add a variable called foxy door ref, the type is the curtains actor we made, make sure to click the I for exposed. As you can see, the foxy animatronics still hold data to the old interface functions. Anyway, in the world we can set the door reference. We can set the rest of the foxy data like target points which is where they will teleport to and then run towards. We reference the door they will be add to and a door index. One thing I forgot, is that Foxy starts at the Pirate Cove target point, make sure to place one here, update the door index up to 2, and we can add target to the array, you can click on this grid to drag the element in the list. Now as usual to share information to the controller, go to your interface and call it animatronic Foxy door ref. The output is Foxy door actor. Now back in the foxy animatronic, we can implement it and give it the variable we added. Now foxy will also need a new AI controller as it's different to how Bonnie worked. If you missed part 3, I do recommend watching the data table segment at the start, however if you don't have that method, the manual way is to go to the animatronic class and in class defaults, search for AI controller and set it in there. Now that we have the controller, open it. We also want to the Bonnie AI controller, so we can copy the vent begin play, and on activated AI. Paste it in the Foxy controller. We need to make the same custom event, update movement 2, then refresh the error function, later it gets updated to a timer event. You will now need a branch you can then get the controlled pawn and was actor recently rendered. We also need a not node. This will mean if the player is not looking the Foxy. We can use a random bool with weight to randomize it. Connect to the branch and then we need a variable, an integer called current stage, we need to set it at true. We can get current stage and add one. We also need to clamp it up to a max stage before they can run. I will set it to three. We can then get the controlled pawn and get the reference to Foxy store where we can call the update curtains function, in here, we can connect current stage to this stage input. Next get the current stage and get an equals equals. Then B will be 3 as we have 3 stages, 
we then add the branch. On true, we clear the timer of updating movement. We also need to delete this update movement node, and replace it with the set timer by function name, probably need to call this function every 3 seconds and make sure looping is on. Now going back to the clear timer, remember to add the function name. We can now make the event for Foxy to run to player. Which you call after clearing the timer. Then you want to get the controlled pawn, get target points. In the array, you want to get the one index, this is where they teleport to before the run. You can then get actor location and then do a set actor location. I think it's better to connect actor location to new location. Ignore the get random point node, we then want a short delay of like 0.5 seconds before they start running towards the door. We can use an AI move to node. The destination is get the target points, copy pasted, and the get will be the second index. Get actor location, connect it to destination. This node also needs a pawn, which will be get controlled pawn. On success, get a branch and then get controlled pawn. We need to get a reference to the actual door reference to check if it is open. Get the open variable and connect. For true, we can just call the play jump scare function that we created in part 2 in the master animatronic class. For our false, we want to play the knock on door SFX. Use play sound at location. Select any audio. Location is the actor location of the get controlled pawn. We can also do it for on fail, just after a 2 seconds delay. We need another delay after the audio, and get controlled pawn. This is where we tell Foxy to go back to his over, by doing a set actor location. Get the target points function. For this, the get index will be 0, which is the pirate's cove. We also want to set current stage back to 0. We also want to get the updates curtain function copied over. Then at the end, we can set the timer of the update movements again. This is also when I start going through and deleting all the get random point nodes as they won't work well in my scenario. For testing, we can go to that activate AI event and add a delay. We can then call the run to player function to see if Foxy runs to us. You can test the game and if they run, that's great. If not, try to use print strings to identify the problem. With the test being successful, delete that and then reconnect the set timer. Clean up your code. Now there is a bug, which can be fixed in the Foxy Door class. In this event, you need to get stage and an equals equals. Then add a branch, on false, it will continue as normal. But on true, we can reset the location of the door, using a set relative location. The values for these are the ones you set in your BP viewport. Just copy those values over. Make sure the left and right are done. All should be done. Test the game once again and see if it works. If not, comment below or join the Discord. Anyway, hope you consider subscribing to my channel, sharing, and see you next time.